Hi Taurus, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. Um, this is going to be a reading for the um, 16th to the 22nd of February 2019. Do you have a cold, Taurus, or something? Anyway, that's just all of a sudden I just need to itch my nose with you. Um, 22nd of February 2019. Having said that, spirit works in a very fluid way. If you're watching this at a different date, it could absolutely be meant for you for the date that you're watching this. Um, roles can be reversed in a reading again spirit is fluid um if you don't resonate with the taurus line then absolutely it could um maybe perceive the reading from the other viewpoint of the relationship if you're wondering who the other person is in the relationship it's who you're thinking about right now um do not make any major life decisions based purely on a divination divination reading get the relevant professional advice if appropriate um and also look to your own intuition your own inner call your own instinct your own inner guidance compass um and free you have free will you don't have to follow what this says you can do what you bloody hell you like is there anything else the deck that i'm using is tower of the hidden realm so uh, most of the gump that i'm saying right now i might stop doing it on future thing is is all below um is that everything i think that's everything yeah i think so let's get it going so i'm going to cut the cards and do the reading for the 16th to the 22nd of february 2019 for taurus this is a relationship reading so it will be your energy their energy um your feelings towards them, theirs towards you, the energy within the relationship, the dynamic, what's going on there. Um, and then it'll be what you need to work on, um, what they need to work on, what the relationship needs to work on, and then advice and outcome from there. So Taurus, your energy is the Four of Cups. This can be a missed opportunity. Seeing, not seeing something that is there, available to you. Maybe an offering of love you just do not want to see. Um, their energy is the Queen of Cups. They're emotionally stable, ready to commit, ready to expand with you emotionally, take you on a journey emotionally, nurture you. See where it goes. Um, blockage for you at the moment is the King of Swords. Oh, sorry, your feelings towards them at the moment. Is the king of swords um this is somebody that is you are very much in your head about where it should go you know where it should go planning considered planning of where it should go between you um you see a future with them you're just not quite putting it into action yet you you are perceiving where you want it to go and planning you're not quite ready to make that happen as such you could be coming across quite cold as well. Their feelings towards you is the three of wands. They want to progress, start a family with you, grow with you. They're passionate about you and your growth as a couple. Look at that. It's expansion from where you are at the moment. They just want to grow with you, nurture with you. And the energy between you is the ten of wands at the moment. Feeling overburdened, overwhelmed, scared. Do you know, I see this card and I have, I bought this stone because it looked just like it. And this stone's quite cold. It's, it's a, it looks like it should be warm, but it's always ice cold. So maybe you're feeling a bit cold and energy is just being sapped from the relationship at the moment. I mean, you care for each other, you're driven for each other, but you're just feeling a bit burdened as a couple at the moment. Or one of you's feeling burdened. Unwilling to share your load, to share your... <sighs> passions and ideas. There's a lack of sharing here. Um, the block for you is the Ace of Wands. So you have an idea where you want to go. Maybe you want to start a family. Um... You have an idea that you want to follow. But you've not again, you you know where you want it to go, you just haven't put it into action yet, and this is you preparing to put that into action. Um, what's going on with them at the moment is the four of pentacles. They're probably feeling quite protective of themselves. Um, if they have children and this is a relationship, a new relationship with you, you're not their father, 
Um, they're going to be quite protective of their children. Um, this is, I want to say stinginess normally, but it's not. To me, this is protectiveness. They want the home. They want to feel safe. They want to feel secure. They want to have roots to grow with you as a couple, to build that family, to have that family look. They just want to know that they're protected. It's preservation. They want to feel safe. They want to feel secure. They want to know that they are okay. And they could be withholding feelings from you if you're not coming across as willing to have that with them. Um, the energy between you at the moment is the Seven of Swords. Deception, theft, trickery normally. Um, secrecy though. I'm getting secrecy. Are you not entirely honourable? Are you not telling them the cold truth? Are you letting them think that that's happening and it's not? Or are they pretending to you that it's absolutely fine, you don't want that just now, but really they, they do want that? You know, if you don't want a child, if you don't want the whole family thing, there's no pentacles coming out of you. I mean, you want them, but... you don't want a family if you don't want what they want you have to tell them you have to be honest it's causing a burden within the relationship that this unsaid thing is going on this secret is going on and somebody you're not being honest with each other i'm not getting cheating or theft i'm getting deception as in you're not being completely honest there are secrets that you're just not letting out the advice for the both of you is just get it on. Just not get it on as in, well, you can have sex. Do what you like. I don't care. Have a good hard fucking romp. I don't care. What I'm saying is this is like take action. Now is the time to put in that last... Sh be brave. Be bold. If you feel like things are getting to the point where it's overburdened and you think it's just not worth this, it's, it is worth it. You just need to fight back. Like a phoenix from the flames. You may feel tired, you may feel like the energy is out of the relationship, it just saps your energy. But if it is worth it, it is time now to stand up and fight and be passionate about the person that you love. Taurus, it's time to step up. You are struggling, fighting. Could be a lot of arguments, but this is struggling with yourself. Internal struggles. There's a lot of wand energy between you. There's a lot of passion between you. If you're not sure if this is the right thing for you, then why are you fighting? You have to fight with an honest heart. If this is what you want, fight for it. This is like the one last push to get what you want. Put it all up in your head, like struggling. How do I do it? What do I do? what is it worth it is it oh internal struggles and what you need to do is unload your burdens to your partner share it with them let them fight with you if you fight together you build the spirit up and you can pull the relationship back from the ashes and build a foundation together now is the time to start planning your future together building where you want to go forward from here teamwork sharing the load with your partner working together to create something beautiful to craft and forge a relationship going forward to forge a foundation so you can build that future which i believe you're considering with them you're not quite at the point where you want to make that happen but you are starting to consider growing that future with them there are a few steps ahead of you but you need to pull them back one so that you can build together communicate with them they are emotionally stable they're not that much of a risk really if they have kids already that will sort itself out they've not really come up as an issue as such they want to move forward with you they want to have a family with you maybe they have the home already set up and that's what puts you off because you're setting up in their home it's their territory and you just think maybe it's worth offering that you build a new foundation together in a new home merge your homes in one new place rather than picking one person's over another is that what you're worried about 
struggling with other people's things around if it's uh, they ended a marriage and the ex's stuff is still around or the stuff that they shared with their ex and that's where the arguments come from you're thinking oh my god sake this is just all we're doing is fighting all the time this is just one last fight one last push one last step into the fray just to, oh, i say in the fray you're not really fighting with each other but fuck the world build foundations get rid of those inner fears those inner struggles those doubts of oh should i shouldn't i and just oh go with it just go with it and build a foundation together find a new foundation a new way a thing that you merge together and that doesn't have to be a child if you're not in that place but absolutely this this could be your future this person's emotionally stable she's got herself together otherwise you could have a missed opportunity which i believe you feel like you're missing that opportunity with them like this is just slipping away from you and you're trying to think how do i go about this what do i do i want this future with them but i don't know how to make it happen well you tell them you communicate with them and then you make that happen together stop doubting start working together forge forward together be bold. If you feel like it's nearly ending, now's the time to step forward and step into a new commitment. Do not have a new child. Do not have a child. If that is a last ditch attempt to save your relationship, absolutely. I'm not recommending having a child. What I'm saying is you can get a new apartment together. You can get um, just have a foundation together. Start from scratch again. Have one last fight into it for us but now is not the time to give up now is the time to fight for the person you love and, and share the burden of what you're worrying about or what you feel isn't working and then you can work together instead of carrying 10 ones of heavy emotional passionate crap you can carry five and they carry five or you carry six and they carry four whatever works for you but until you share that with them, they can't help you. I hope that helps, Taurus. I'm sending so much love and light to you. I'll see you again soon. Namaste.